Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint some poinsettias. We're going to be making it very simple, and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a good Christmas project. I've got my husband, Mark, with me. Hey there, everybody. He's been in chat tonight, so if you've got questions, you can ask those in chat, and I'll try to answer. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using a little bit larger canvas today. I thought I'd, I want to put this on display this year, so um, that a little bit bigger canvas. So this is the 12 by 16 inch uh, from Frederick's. Um, you could really do this on in any size. I think it would look good uh, squared off as well. You'd probably have to lose one of the flowers, but um, anyhow, there's, you know, the sky's the limit. Even on a huge canvas, I think it would be really cool. You just have to kind of up your brushes for the size of your canvas. Um, I'll be using uh, the Princeton Summit series. These are um, some of my favorite brushes. They've got a good spring. And um, I'll be using like some brights here. The brights are just like a shorter uh, flat brush. The flat would be up here. Uh, 10, 8, and then I grabbed an angle, which is their six, number six, and then a six and four filbert. And then I've got a couple smaller brushes. There's a flat that I was talking about. See how much longer that is. That one's a number two, and then a number two round. So those will hopefully get us. We're going to keep it very like simplified and um, impressionist tonight. And um, so using the bigger brushes helps with that, but I want the littler brushes just to help us sketch out some of the smaller details. Let's go over colors. I've got uh, carbon black, burnt umber, burnt sienna, uh, Indian yellow hue, cadmium yellow light, phthalo turquoise, ultramarine blue, uh, quinacridone magenta, uh, cadmium red medium and light, and then unbleached titanium. And this is titanium white and some gloss glazing liquid. I'm not sure we're gonna need much of that tonight, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, and thank you to Fredericks and Princeton, our brush and canvas smelter. Mm -hmm. Thanks for everybody hanging in with us and watching us tonight live. I'm glad you're joining us. We had to cancel our Saturday show last minute because I have been really, really sick this week. But um, yeah, I spoke too soon last week. I was like, yeah, I, th I think I thought I was getting sick, but no, I think I think I'm okay. And then you know, like Boom. the very next day, yeah. yeah, yeah, fever and the whole deal. So yeah. I'm feeling much, much better. Thank you for the, all the sweet comments and well wishes. But we're uh, back tonight, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the first first uh, day I've felt uh, normal in about a week. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to just use this brush and sketch out. Sorry, sorry for that intro, weird intro, but I just That's we are. wanted to say thanks to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's very sweet. And we know that you'll be fully back to normal when I get to kiss you again. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's still on the banned list. Yeah, he's still not coming anywhere near me. <laughs> All right, so we've got this large. I actually took this photo. Uh, Mark was like, we're in the middle of grocery shopping at Kroger, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I, like, I'm moving around these these poinsettias on the floor people are walking by like looking at me like what is she doing and mm -hmm. i'm taking pictures of them because i like the colors i thought they were really pretty and i wish i'd bought them i didn't but i should have all right so i'm going to put this big one the big um pink one kind of center right in here somewhere so i'm just going to kind of mark that out um, that'll be our main flower and it's going to come up and be kind of somewhere in here I think I'm going to move it down. I, ha I took several photos, so I have a couple photos um, that I'm kind of looking at that are not in our reference that showed a little bit more of this upper space here, the way I cropped it. it. But I moved the white flower, white uh, ones around so that I had a better design on them. So that's why I'm using this one, because the white flower is better on this one. Okay, so something like that, and that, that angle is weird right there. And I'm just using um, my un my um, magenta with a little bit of brown in it, and a little bit of a lot of water and a little bit of the glazing medium just to make it stick here. And then another one over here that's gonna come in front of our white. Another one here. 
and then the large one that goes almost to the bottom of the canvas there. And then another one here. Okay, so those are our main flowers, petals, flower petals that we're gonna do on that one. Let me do it a little bit wider here. <clears throat> Hoping I don't lose my voice halfway through. We'll see how it goes here. <laughs> but okay so that'll be kind of our main flower there and then we've got this little white one peeking out right here that's going to be a lot smaller we're not seeing all of it but we are seeing kind of some of these edges of the petals over here so we can and there's actually another one that's in here so we can do kind of two white ones there and there and this will be the center of it here, and this will be the center of it here. And then a red one. I think I'm gonna move it down so that the center is like right here. And that way I can kind of give it some bigger, bigger petals or leaves. I guess these are on pen poinsettia. We've talked about that before multiple times. <laughs> Every time we paint a poinsettia, I call it petals and we're saying, nope, leaves. Oh yeah, we would hear about it. Okay. <laughs> so I think that that'll, that'll work right there, something like that. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do up in that corner. I might put another leaf or something up there. I'm not really sure yet. See as we get to it. All right, so I'm gonna grab a large brush here now. This is the 10 Bright. And I'm just gonna put in my dark areas. So I'm gonna get some of the turquoise and burnt or uh, ultramarine blue, kind of equal parts, both of those. And then some burnt umber, maybe a little bit of black. I just want kind of a dark blue green color like that. That'll be good, kind of a good color to go against our red. And in some areas, I might even add a little bit of magenta. So I'm gonna kind of use a magenta. Ooh, I didn't notice that that canvas corner is really crunch right there. <laughs> Pull that messed up. What happened to it? It's like bent over. Probably dropped it. <clears throat> I'll cut that part off later for you. It's, it's too late now. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit of white, too, and you're going to cut what part off the... That corner, canvas, yeah. The corner of the canvas. It, it's not only... It'll be a 9 by 12, but by the time we're done, <laughs> cutting it down. Getting some <laughs> white hair. <laughs> and we'll see. Thank you. I'm sure that's the help I'm looking for, but... Well, you know, I'm, I'm here just to help you solve problems. You present me a, a problem, I'll solve it for you. <laughs> Quick and easy. Okay. I'm just kind of changing the color tone a little bit, but I'm going to do these background areas in kind of neutrals. Gray greens, greens, blue greens. I'm going to do the center of the flowers, dark. That dark turquoise. Go ahead and go kind of in between the petals out from the center really well. Probably more than you think you will need. We'll probably cover most of this up, but it'd be nice to have that dark color right in the middle there. Can you go over uh, the, uh, the difference with the uh, bright versus not bright. Sorry, bright what? <clears throat> bright what? Bright brush. Sorry. Ah, okay. The bright versus flat brushes. Um, the flat brushes are are going to be um, longer. So if I got a two, there's the two bright and the two long. I'll put it up against here so you can see it. Too bright, too long. Those are the same 
brush, but you can see that the flat brush, I'm sorry, not long, flat, too bright and too flat. Um, the flat brush is longer than the... So the bristles are just longer. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. else is, is the same. The size yep. is the same and all that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Within the same brand, you know. I mean, brand, brush sizes vary drastically, to, you know, from brand to right, brand. Right, right, so. right. So the, the flat is more like it, the, the mullet version of the paintbrush. <laughs> you... You set that up on your own, didn't Nobody asked, did they? They just, you were just like... No, somebody did ask okay. the question, and, <laughs> and my brilliance came up with that. <laughs> okay. That mm. was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Business in the front, <laughs> party hey, in the back. Hey, mullets are back, apparently. That's what I hear. Uh, yeah, not, not here. That's not going to happen they, here. They can't come back to me because they never were. True. <sighs> can't... Revive something that was never there. Exactly. Never alive. Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That would be scary. I think you could rock a mullet. You've got pretty good hair. You got a little well, curl to it. It would look know, good. Back in the 80s, my hair was longer. Never super long. But yeah, you know, my hair, once it gets to a certain length, it just starts curling up. and. Mm -hmm doesn't go straight anymore just kind of does whatever it wants to <laughs> and i'm not into you know using a flattening iron every morning before work so right right so if, if i can't look good i'm just not going to do it mullets out yep. okay it's all right uh, let me think. All right, so let's go to the next size over, the right here, the number 8 right and I'm going to just start filling in some colors. So I'm going to work on this white one that's like in the back here. It's actually basically yellow. I was looking at my colors and trying to match up the colors. And um, the closest that I could find was like a Van uh, or Bismuth. Uh, where is it? I can't think of it. Light Bismuth yellow. That one was very close to that color in the picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of try to do my best to find a color that's similar. This is the cadmium yellow light here. And ooh, it's mixing with yeah, that background. It's really pretty. It's nice. I like. So the key with the impressionist type painting like this is just to kind of try to keep my brush strokes loose. Not to, uh, it kind of helps actually to kind of squint and when you're looking at your item that you're painting to kind of just get the main shapes and main um, overall image kind of in your brain, but not over, over um, too much the detail yet so I am going to get some of that um, turquoise and use it in there and kind of in the middle of these there's these kind of pleats in the yellow leaves, leaves thank you <clears throat> what was I doing the other day I was I was Mark was like, what are you doing? What was I doing? I can't well, there was remember. a couple things. So Saturday, when you decided to cancel the show, uh -huh. uh, you also decided to publish the Gingerbread House. Right. But you hadn't told me. Well, right. Well, you tried telling me four different times, but <laughs> couldn't quite finish the thought. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then you got upset with me, like you had told me. <laughs> like, uh, you tried. I tried. Didn't quite get there. <laughs> yeah. This is me sick. We don't need to see that. Okay. Burnt sienna, a little bit of the turquoise with my yellow color. And I made a green with the turquoise and the yellow. Probably a little bit of both here. And then the burnt sienna, just to tone it down a little bit to more of a natural color. I'm going to use that is my kind of undertone for my green leaves here. And I'm going to get some of the darker 
got a lot of the lighter color here. I need a darker green. Get a little bit of the browns. There we go. We have a color question. Okay. The person would like to know if, hypothetically, mm -hmm. they don't have turquoise, Okay. what could they do? If they have, like, a phthalo, um, phthalo blue, um, they can add yellow to it and get a turquoise. Or phthalo green and phthalo blue is what this turquoise is. It's just both of them together. So that's all. Be easy. Yeah, I just, I don't like, I've been using the turquoise lately because I just find that I can use it instead of having both the phthalo green and phthalo. I used to have the phthalo blue and phthalo green in my palette as kind of the medium, you know, blue green on the blue green side, you know, and making greens and mixing green colors. Those were the two colors that I would go to. But um, turquoise kind of does the work of both of them, so I've been kind of using it instead lately. But it's still it's still just the phthalo blue and phthalo green, so if you have those, they will work just fine. Okay, so I decided to just go ahead and fill in all of my area of this yellow or white poinsettia with this green color here, and that'll be a good base, and I'm just gonna let it mostly dry. I'll, I'll sort of draw in some of these petals, but most of them are gonna have to come later. Bring that one out. Somebody has asked if the open version of the golden paints is a student grade. No, all of the golden paints are professional quality. So the open paint just means it has a extended drying time. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So it's not as viscous as the. No, it's body? it's just it doesn't um, doesn't dry as fast. It's okay. got it's almost like an oil paint. So it'll take it up to twenty four hours to dry. Mm. So you. You know, that's why I don't use them because I need it to, I need my layers to dry quickly. But um, if you don't have, you know, a time constraint like I do, um, then yeah, it's a good choice, especially if you have trouble blending acrylics. They also have a, a um, medium that you can add to your gloss glazing liquid. And I haven't tried that yet, and I, I do have it, I just haven't tried it yet. But I think I want to try that and see because it'll kind of extend the drying time a little bit um, on your painting, but not as much as using the open acrylics would. So it just gives you a little bit extra time, but not so much that you're taking a full day to dry kind of thing. So I think eventually I'll try it. I just haven't gotten up the nerve to do it yet. <laughs> Kind of like, let's experiment on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> sure, what could go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> so you're just adding a little bit more yellow there? A little changing. bit more yellow. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And I think I'll go ahead and add another petal here. And then what was the decision regarding the gingerbread house painting? That I'm you not going to be doing okay, it. So I don't have time this year. I just don't. I, I tried to reschedule it twice already, and I just haven't, and I don't have any time left in my December calendar. schedule to do right. it. Okay. I pushed it from November to, I was sick in, or no, I, we had we had a birthday thing come up. My son, um, Nathan, lives two and a half hours away. We don't get to see him very often, and he came down unexpectedly for my my son Spencer's birthday. And so he was only going to be here for the day. And I was like, well, that video was going to take a couple hours, two to three hours at least. And so I decided to spend the day with my children instead of working, which 
looking back on it, it was a good choice, but <laughs> it also meant that I, I rescheduled it thinking that I would be able to do it later in December and then got sick. So, <laughs> which Nathan also gave me. So <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't you can know blame that it for on Nathan. fact, <laughs> but we suspect. It's his fault both times. No, joking. <laughs> hey, real quick, back, uh, you had mentioned a, a medium. What was that again? When you're talking about the um, drying? The open acrylic medium. They have an open. Okay, so just the medium itself you can mm-hmm. add to other. Okay. You can, yeah. It's like a, it's like the gloss glazing liquid or whatever. It's like a milky. I can show it here in a second. No, no, it, it's, it. it's not necessary. I don't want to disrupt this. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so I think that's about all I'm going to do with the with the white i might add a little bit brighter colors but i think that's the look i'm going for i'm kind of going for this lighter kind of more airy look um here it is right here so there's the open i'm not going to but i think it's fluid i mean i i'm pretty sure it's like a come on Yeah, so it's basically like that. You know, it's just like a medium, a thin, thinning medium. And you can add it to your paints and make them dry a lot slower. <clears throat> I need a thinning medium during the holidays. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Doesn't help when you eat a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's, just, though. I think just try rubbing that on your belly. You never know. Oh, you press it over your <laughs> See if it works. See if it works. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I can't breathe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm liking this so far. Mm-hmm. I think it's fun. I like this time type of painting for beginners. I think that it's a lot more accessible. Um, a lot less kind of restrictive. You know, and it, your expression can come out in it too. You know, your your uh, own personal interpretation of the image. Mm-hmm. It's well, a lot more. You were watching that painting show last night, that British something yeah, painting show. Yeah. And the one guy, the people were looking at the paintings and and giving their opinions about them, and and somebody had painted a, like a really real realistic uh-huh. portrait. And the guy was like, "Well, should a painting be, be like a photo, or should it be more of an interpretive expression of right. something?" And I'm like, "Well, it it can be both." Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes yeah. it is, and sometimes it isn't. So. Yeah, there's a lot of you know a lot a lot of the modern painting philosophy is that you you shouldn't like do realistic type paintings. Like my the stuff that I like to do is tended to not look like at real art, you know, if you're just kind of painting along with the photo by the um, arts, artsy hoity-toity. But, um, you know, I just feel like do what makes you happy, you know. Mm-hmm. If that's what you like, do it. I mean, I that's what I like to do. So I haven't, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to impress any anyone um i'm just trying to do what i find enjoyable and hopefully you guys are enjoying it too and maybe learning something watching my journey (laughs) of figuring stuff out (laughs) i don't have all the answers for sure i've been painting for about 30 years now but i'm still learning stuff about painting and just kind of trying to share it with you guys as i learn and that's the whole idea about our show that's why i do it kind of more informally too with my husband helping out and stuff he's my kind of spirit animal sidekick or <laughs> not spirit animal what's that called um support animal. support animal yeah <laughs> <laughs> emotional support <laughs> dog no <laughs> but just using these I, I know i'm not that high up the ladder burnt i'm sorry ultramarine blue here a little bit of burnt or black, I mean, and uh, the red, the two reds here, the ultra, I'm sorry, I can't say the words right now, <laughs> cadmium red medium and quinacridone magenta, 
and then I mixed it with the ultramarine blue and a little bit of black over here and yeah so just going ahead and showing this underneath just thinking about where these petals might go you know behind this one I think I'm going to put another one here spread that out a little bit <clears throat> but yeah so it's uh we have fun occasionally we get the hater who's like make him stop but <laughs> not gonna happen it's really fun to get to do this with my best friend yeah it makes it where are they a lot less stressful for me and a lot of fun and hopefully the majority of our audience enjoys it, too. <laughs> I know it's not for everybody, and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> there, you're never going to be able to please everybody. <laughs> so We just do us and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. So you're just layering in the background... Mm -hmm. Like base of the yeah the darker tones okay. in my red, okay. in my red flower here, and just trying to think about where my petals are with the points that is they, they kind of you know come out in like a star pattern almost, and um, they alternate so you'll have, you know a row of them on the outer all the way around and then you'll have another row. Um, on top that's in between you know so I'm kind of thinking okay there's the back and then behind this large one we'd have another one in the back back here maybe going off in this direction I'm just trying to think about what direction they're going to be all pointing in towards the center though so just make sure when you're doing these that your petals that you're doing off to the side here are pointing in this way that they make sense the shape of them makes sense um, so that, um, you know, they're all going to be facing inward, even if they're overlapping somewhat. Um, and then, you know, these are obviously way too short, so I'm going to make these bigger. That one's a, quite a big one, but I'm going to go ahead and make this guy bigger and kind of fill up this whole corner of the painting with him. So we get this darker color and using the darker kind of in the ones that are a little bit farther away maybe and then thinking about where these ones would be that are kind of in front this one's in front this one's in front <clears throat> and they're not all the same size or you know some of the ones that are in front are shorter than the ones in the back and sometimes they're longer so it doesn't have to all be the same all the way around that'll make it a little bit more natural looking if you kind of keep it random and getting some of this brighter red here to figure out where I'm going to put these ones so let's go ahead and kind of maybe this big petal here is coming in right there. And they have all these quilt quilted leaves too, you know, so kind of making sure that I'm also paying attention to that. Each one of these is going to have kind of a center line that's going to come out from them and then have these little quilted pleats that point in towards that line like that <clears throat> and that'll help make it look more natural too Okay, looks good. We'll 
fix it. I don't think I like this, what's going on here, but I'll figure it out as we go. I might make, put another big, big one back here somewhere. Well, let's go ahead and do this one. Just get our whole background covered. And for this one, it's pretty light colored pink. So I'm just gonna use that magenta. It really is just a quinacridone magenta flower. It's just a pretty color. I immediately stopped me in my tracks when I saw it. Mark can tell you. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, I gotta get a picture of that. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Yeah. You know, as we're walking out anywhere, if there's flowers, we're bound to stop, stop and look at them. And look at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Sometimes take a picture, sometimes just look at them. <laughs> sometimes buy them. Yeah. Using some of that yellow from this flower over here, too. That's pretty. Not too shabby for a cell phone picture. Mm -mm. No, it took a pretty good, good photo. All right, so I'm going to do one right here. Now I had I had a white a photo of a white poinsettia that I didn't take that I had purchased to use um, that I was going to use, but when I saw these, I was like, "Ooh, this is prettier. I'm just going to do this instead." Be much more interesting having these three colors together. I hope you guys like it too. <clears throat> oh, I just thought of a great, uh, a great thing we can do for your patrons. What? We can do a a portrait painting, uh -huh. right? I'll be the sitting subject matter. Okay. But nobody can see each other's paintings, and so they all have to paint, and then we just share them. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. See, just like they did on the show. Right, everybody paints at the same time. Right. But you can't see each other's paintings until the end, and then I get to pick the winner. Oh, I see what you're saying. Who who else is going to be painting? Well, whoever shows up to the show, I mean. Okay. Yeah, they I'm, can, I'm not, I'm confused. They can watch the video, so instead of broadcasting what you're painting, it'd just be me sitting there. I see. And then they have to paint at the same time you are. I see. And then the next month, we'll be down like half our patrons. <laughs> I'm so confused. I told you to take it easy on me tonight. Why are you doing this? <coughs> well, people have asked for, you know, more portraits. So I'm just trying to think of ways to mm -hmm. incorporate that into the, the way we do business. I'm not a portrait painter. I've decided that's just not my thing. So there's a lot of really good portrait painters out there. I am not one of them. Somebody said that's a great idea that they'll paint their puppy. So they obviously they didn't get what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody I, did, honey. But I, I guess. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> All right. Let's, I'm just kind of playing with the colors here. So no special mixture or formula. You're just adjusting the colors as, yeah, just as you feel. Yeah, just kind of playing with it. Mm -hmm. Mostly the magenta and white, but I've got a little bit of other colors happening here. Just the mostly this yellow that I'm dipping into here just to give it the highlights a little different tone.
<clears throat> Just kind of putting in some of these smaller ones that are overlapping in front. <clears throat> All right. Just kind of putting in some of the center lines here. water because then it doesn't cover very well so kind of have to keep your paint fairly thick for this kind of technique See something in the photograph back here. So we'll just kind of gray it out a little bit. So, since we told a story about you, we'll tell a story about me. Mm -hmm. So, after the show last Tuesday, mm -hmm. it was a mad rush to make dinner prior to the greatest show on TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're making French bread pizzas. And I had asked you before the show, hey, do we have pizza sauce? You said, yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. So, I went and got everything started, went looked in the cabinet. And I know through previous experiences that if I don't move things... I'll get shamed. <laughs> so I'm moving stuff around. I'm looking and I don't find it. So I go to another cabinet and look in there. It's not there. I was going to ask you, but I'm like, well, I'll go back looking in the cabinet again. So I look and I move more stuff and look around and just cannot find it. I'm like, hey, Angela, I thought you said we have pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. She walks into the room, looks in the cabinet. She goes, it's right there, right in front. Mm -hmm. So I had actually moved the can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd move the can to get out of the way so you could find the, the pizza find sauce. It, find yeah. the pizza sauce. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, did you read it? Well, no, because it was the same brand as something else that wasn't pizza sauce. So I just, um, was just like, well, that's not pizza sauce either. We usually get it in a jar, not a can. So it's partially my fault. <laughs> not that I don't read <laughs> or interpret pictures very well. It's a, it's a recurring problem in our household. <coughs> the first step to getting help is admitting there's a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm doing the all the men a favor by just representing them really well. Um, 
<lacht> ja. Mhm. ja. <lacht> It's always <lacht> like, did we use it? I'm pretty sure we didn't use it. That's what's going through my brain. So I'm like, well, last time I saw it, it was like right in front. So if he's not seeing it, maybe, maybe it did get used. And yeah, no, it was and, right in front still. And but the good news is, is that I'm passing this down to our three sons also. Right. Mm -hmm. So they can make somebody else's life enjoyable. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, they've already got the skill, all three of them. I think. I don't know. Nathan's maybe not as bad as the rest, but I'm not sure. I haven't. We'll have to ask his significant other to see. Maggie says, maybe, maybe we just haven't seen it in action recently. Yeah, yeah, that's welcome to my existence. And, and when two of us can't find something, we have a conversation. We, we better look really good before we ask mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they still, we yeah, still can't find it. Still can't find it. <laughs> yeah. No. It's all right. This way, keep me around. <laughs> <laughs> Job security. Oh, for many reasons. <laughs> Not just that. Yeah, but that's pretty high up <laughs> the list. <laughs> it's like, well, I wouldn't be able to find anything. <laughs> I, I used to keep you around because you remember where everything was. And now that's I, kind of slipping a little slipping. bit. It's I'm kind of rubbing scared. off on you. It's scary. Yeah, I still, I still got it, but not as good as I used to be. I've... <clears throat> All right. So we got the red, just trying to kind of get the little darker colors in towards the center mostly. Go ahead and make this one a little bit darker. Behind yeah, this one. Okay. They're pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to change the shape of this one here a little bit. So let's say this petal here, or leaf, is coming out like that. So we'll make this one move over just a little bit. Move it over to right in here somewhere. More like that. All right. <clears throat> I might even move this one out a little bit more. Ooh, I got blue. Where'd that come from? <laughs> That's all right. So that'll be right in here. I feel like this needs something down here, but I'm not really sure what yet. So I may just leave it for now. We'll see. I tend to like to fill in everything. But there is a petal there in the picture, so <coughs> it wouldn't hurt anything to add one. Let me let me do this. Let me do the kind of light gray green like I did up there. from nowhere maybe yeah I don't think I like that take it out <clears throat> mm. 
just use some of this pink and kind of go lightly over the top of some of this and kind of just blur out these edges just slightly. It'll kind of soften it up a little bit. <clears throat> and I do see a green leaf. Let's do that green leaf maybe right here. That white green. green in here going against that red it'll be an interesting contrast for it use it up here in my highlight areas you hear the gunfire Are you hearing that And now it stops. <clears throat> okay, getting the cadmium red light here. Use it along the edge here. I'm not going to use a ton of this, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of start with it, and then I'll probably end up. Um, end up darkening this up again with a little bit more of the cadmium red medium but okay there we go let's do this one here and I need more of my reds magenta there and cadmium red medium so while you do that I'll quickly mention to everybody about patreon.com slash angel fine art where there's traceables and bonus content at different levels and uh, it's available all month long and you get access to all the past traceables and videos also at that subscribed level so check it out yeah and thank you to the thousands that support us over there on patreon you guys are awesome appreciate it it's uh really fun we've got a really great group of folks that support us on patreon really sweet people we so appreciate it it's allowed us to make a lot of improvements if you watch some of my older videos <laughs> you can thank our patrons for the improvements <laughs> in our camera and audio equipment and everything you may need some counseling if you watch some of the really old videos. <laughs> They're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm adding the quinacridone magenta and the cadmium red light or red, me red medium here. This is what I was saying, you know, going over that cadmium red light kind of adds that a little bit of vibrancy underneath this. So it makes it pop a little bit more. Get a little bit of that cadmium red light. Okay. So figure out which one of these I want to be on top here. So we'll put this one kind of on top. And there's a little little petal that I want to do right here too. Like a small petal that's kind of in front of the bigger ones here. And 
And then just kind of figure out where I want to put the center line of this. I'm going to get a little bit of that darker color and just decide I'm going to keep it as thin as I can. So press that brush flat so that I have a nice thin line on this and then I can just pull a line through some of these petals here to create that center vein that's happening. <coughs> get some of the brighter color and then if it's not showing up we need contrast this red one really didn't have a ton of contrast but we're gonna have to add some to kind of make it more dimensional so we can just add a little bit of white now when you add white it turns it kind of pinkish with reds and so it, to avoid that you could add some of that cadmium red light but I don't mind a little bit of pink going against it with that the pink one over here. <coughs> so let's do another leaf right here. It goes in front of this one. And just kind of pulling in and leaving that dark kind of in the middle to create the veining. Makes sense. You can do as much or as little as you want on that have to be on every petal <clears throat> making this one stand out a little bit and get a little bit of that lighter color and just pop it along that edge and that'll pull it forward and away from that other one behind it kind of hard to see what I'm doing with this lighting it's all kind of glaring cadmium red light and then a little bit more than magenta and cadmium red medium And then getting some of that darker color if I need it and just kind of dividing these again. Okay, pretty happy with that. some of these smaller areas. I'm going to get some of the white and yeah, just a tiny bit of yellow. I don't want a lot of it. I want this color to be pretty pretty white. And I'm going to use this to kind of define these edges of this 
white poinsettia. You're just kind of adding a few lines and marks here. So. This is where I can get kind of some of my cadmium, I'm sorry, my turquoise and Indian yellow hue and make a dark green. Maybe add a little bit of burnt umber to neutralize it a little bit. we use that as my center line, these ones. And just skip around a little bit. These are kind of wiggly. to do too thick. Okay, something like that. Same thing here. I've got my petals in, I can kind of tell where to go around them a little bit. Okay, that's really dark. I may need to put some of this in some of these areas in between. contrast here and there. that 
darker to have that good contrast make these other colors pop a little bit better we have a question okay the person said to make the edges appear thin it looks as if you make them darker is that the trick oops um to make the edges appear thin well yeah the i think what you're talking about in here um I'm painting around them, yeah, to make them thinner and um, give it contrast. The contrast is what's going to do it. The white or the lighter colors are going to come forward and the dark will push back visually. So if I've got a petal, like say, you know, here where I want it to appear in front of the ones underneath, I'll put a lighter color on it usually, you know, depending on where the light's coming from. In our photograph, sometimes it's not always the case, but for the most part, that's a good rule of thumb. So, you know, like right here, I can bring this out from this one just by putting some lighter color along the border of it. Maybe not that light. And in this case, it's it's the same value as the background there. So I'm going to have to go lighter for it to show up. So I have to go a little bit lighter. And then it'll start to kind of pop forward visually. See that? And then with the darker, you know, with the centers of the lines, it's it's actually pushing them back, so these centers are going to look uh, deeper and folded. This, so this is a fold here. All of these are folds in the petal, and that pushes that leaves. The leaves are just pushing them back. I'm going to get a little bit of the yellow, Indian yellow hue. And bring it over here with a little bit of my yellow. And let's go ahead and get the unbleached titanium. That'll give it a kind of a neutral base. Maybe a little bit more white. There we go. I'm going to use that in some of these areas in here. I'm seeing a little bit of yellow. It's a little bit closer over here in this picture and the petal is or the leaf is pretty far over so I might extend this leaf out just a little bit more. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring this one up almost to the edge of the canvas. again. And I don't know if I answered the question. I'm not, not sure I understood it exactly, but hopefully okay. that was good. Uh, yeah, hopefully they can comment to make sure that we got it okay. for them. Mm. 
working on 75% of my brain right now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> still not. Stop no. rugging. <laughs> still not quite there. All there. <laughs> still more than what I operate on my best days. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> detail on these ones they don't have to be they're not going to be the focal points they don't have to be super you know detailed but um, and the nice thing is that you know like normally I wouldn't like put a color that's just like in one place but because of the way this composition is and the, the colors in the these flowers there's this color in the centers of all these flowers so We've got these green centers, so we're going to make some green here with the yellow and turquoise. And I'll start to kind of put in the little center parts that have the yellow. Oh, see, now it kind of ties it in together. I always like this part where we start doing some of these details. And I was like, oh, okay. No, I see it. I'm not ready to do it on this one yet because I still... Well, I guess I probably could. Close enough. Something like that. Now it kind of makes a little bit more sense visually. And like I said, I can kind of use some, some of this green in, you know, some of these leaves, even just, even though it's not in the photograph, I can, you know, take, take it and add a little bit of it, you know, maybe over here or somewhere like that where, you know, we're kind of adding a little hint of another color. I don't know if I like that. Get a little bit darker. There we go. Yeah, so. Maybe a little bit here. It's not mine this time. Well, no. mine was too, though. It's. I just haven't eaten much today because I'm. Just haven't had much appetite. And my throat's been sore, so it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm sick. <laughs> I'm the worst sick person. I'm not, don't do well. I don't want to do anything. I've gotten zero done this week. <laughs> or I should say last week. <coughs> Hopefully this week will be better. <laughs> There we go. So just like adding a little bit of touches of green in there, just to give it a little, you know, like, we're not alone. It's not the only place we're seeing this color. Okay, so kind of like that. 
Yeah, because of depth. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not just like everything on one well, plane. It kind of le leads the eye around the canvas a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. Let's think here. What do we want to do? Think, think, think. I'm getting all three of my reds here. And I'm going to add some white. And just maybe a little bit more white. I need it kind of just a little bit brighter than the brightest that I've got right here. So somewhere in there. There we go. Somewhere in there. Just add a few really bright. Now this is what this will bring the these forward. So anywhere that I'm doing this with this lighter color going to be visually marking this as being in front. So just thinking about where the light's hitting it and there we go. Given that one a little bit more dimension, let's go ahead and do the same with this one here. Given this time I'm going to get the magenta and go over some of these with, give it a second coat. And it's got a little bit of that orangey tone, so it's giving it just a little bit different tone here so that it's not all just that like, flat pink color. Let's just gonna draw some of this color in and use some of this color in it as well. So I always do that even if it's not in the you know in the same in the photograph. It always kind of I think helps unify the picture to kind of move your colors around and add just a little touch of it to each part of your painting. <coughs> question about brushes and loading okay. they say that when you load your brush mm -hmm. about how many strokes do you do before you're reloading because they can't figure out how to achieve uh, that so what's the secret hmm um i don't know i can think we, it's just a can we tell them the secret what what's the secret i don't know I'll just <laughs> No, I know you're thinking, sorry. <clears throat> um, it depends on, you know, how you load your brush. Everybody's, the way they load it is a little bit different. You know, some people really load it up more thickly than others. So if you're finding you're running out of paint faster than I am, then you probably need to go a little bit thicker with what you're picking up on your brush but I'm picking it up from the side here and I'm not picking it up so much that it's gummed up you can see that I'm keeping the shape of the brush and that paint is it's you know collecting on the sides but it's not it's pretty fairly thin amount of paint that I'm working with at any given time and that gives me kind of control over what I'm laying down on the canvas um so 
<clears throat> I am probably having to reload, you know, fairly often. But if you're, you know, it just depends on how you do because everybody kind of does it differently. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's different. It's like handwriting. You know, everybody's going to have kind of a different way of loading their brush and delivering the paint onto the canvas. And that's um, one of the things that I really enjoy about seeing people's artwork because, you know, I mean, I'll paint this and, you know, we all get a dozen people posting it in my group and not one of them are going to be the same. You know, they'll all have their own unique look about them. So I would just say, you know, just kind of embrace whatever it is that um, is your particular quirk. You know, I mean, when I see um, one of my students who, you know, is continually like, you know, frustrated because their paints um, going on thicker than mine, you know, just say, well, um, you know, that probably is something that you could just embrace and decide to do, you know, some paintings that have like a juicier um, amount of paint on the canvas. And um, this kind of, this kind of painting lends itself well to that type of, of uh, situation, you know, so if you find yourself, you know, with a lot of paint on your brush, um, this, so, this is going to be easier for you now. If you don't, then this kind of painting might be a little bit more tricky. So, so I was just watching you paint while you were explaining about that and, and noticing, you know, you're doing some strokes and going back and getting more paint. Mm -hmm. um, is it that you're, you're just looking for a certain, a certain texture or depth or, or look or something or I'm I'm looking at the right now I'm looking at the values that I'm seeing so I'm looking at how dark if I'm getting good contrast and just making sure that I've got <coughs> good contrast between my petals um, right so but, that I have some depth right but like you know you've got some paint on your brush and then you're painting a section and mm -hmm. sometimes I'm going to throw a number out there. Maybe you do eight or 10 strokes and then you go back, get some more paint and then it's mm -hmm. only like three or four and then you get some more paint. So is it just something that you're seeing that you've learned over the years? Like, okay, I'm not getting the, the, yeah. the, the effect that I'm, that I want or. I, yeah, I can tell, you know, just the, the, the amount of paint going down if I need to get a little bit more paint on there. Cause if it's not, you know, if it's not going down as quickly or easily as I want, then I know okay. I've got to pick up a little bit more paint. And it goes back to what you were saying about the person's style. So if it's not, right. if it's not what they're wanting, then, you know, it's obviously needing more loading or less. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's just something that they'll develop over yeah, time. Yeah, I think so. I think that it's, it's just something that you'll get a feel for as you paint. You know, I would say that, I mean, I've, I've painted for, several years now 30 something years and i'm still evolving the way i paint you know so i don't think it's ever anything that you know is set in stone i'm still kind of trying to improve and figure out things and challenge myself to try styles styles like this that are not necessarily my norm normal way of painting normally i tend to be a more realistic painter but I really love this kind of style of painting, and so I've really been challenging myself in the last couple of years to um, do more of this kind of stylized, um, impressionist style paintings, because I feel like it's it's just a really good way of, of um, paint, you know, loosening up, you know, and... And I think it's, again, more accessible for a wider range of new students because there's not as much to get wrong, you know, or whatever, you know. I mean, I don't like to say it that way, but, you know, to worry about because not having to try to get it to look realistic. You're just trying to get it to where you like it, you know, just trying to kind of get the essence of it and sometimes it helps too to kind of like squint as you're doing this you know kind of get step back really frequently I'm looking at myself on the monitor very often and that is like the equivalent of stepping back um, which I don't have the luxury of doing but you know if I when I get to this stage of the painting 
And um, by the way, I'm using a little bit of brown in my magenta here to give it a little rich, richer, deeper tone. Um, it um, it helps a lot to see kind of things and to step away because uh, when you're right here in it for uh, any length of time, you kind of get tunnel vision and you don't see things as clearly anymore sometimes. So, um, okay, yeah, I'm liking this, I think. Um, kind of missed a petal right here. I'm trying to decide if I want to put it in or not. I kind of like what's going on right here, but um, if I did it, I would probably do it right in here. Like that. I'm trying to decide if that's helping or not. Let's go ahead and put it in. really emphasizes that. Yeah, I think so. I like it. done here. Just gonna put some white on our pink flower and then finish up our <coughs> centers of all the flowers. So on the loading I'm put this in the comments. I want to see if you think it's right. So <coughs> I think is also part of the whole doing layers and uh -huh. and so not trying to get the one perfect stroke where it like finishes the petal or the section in one stroke. Right. But it's, you know, one layer, then another layer, and then another layer, and then you're you're slowly building up the the different colors and tones and shades and yes. to get that look that you're looking for. <laughs> and so <coughs> I know the few times that I've painted with you one of my natural things is to load up as much paint as I possibly can so I can just get it done once. Right. And that's not really what you're needing to do. No, you want to. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Um, each each layer I'm building up, I'm getting closer to the, my light colors. So you start with the darker. I usually, this is how I usually do it. It's not the only way of doing it, but... <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, <coughs> Go ahead, sorry. Oh my thing there. <laughs> Gross, sorry. Okay, mic's back on. Um what was I saying? I don't even know. How about the layers going dark to light. Oh yeah, yeah, I work. I work. So <clears throat> how you do it it's building up slowly light. darker dark to light you know so mid-tone sometimes I'll do mid-tone and then go dark and then do my light so it depends on what I'm painting but in this one I kind of did <coughs> did that did the dark tone first I'm sorry I'm losing my voice here I'm you want my paint. water yeah <clears throat> back in here do it so i think that's your body saying we're about done yeah we're, <laughs> we're <laughs> um, just done about all i, all I can take <laughs> uh, okay i need another <laughs> <laughs> you stuck into a tissue <laughs> <laughs> not gonna come off hold on <clears throat> sorry guys <clears throat> All right. Voila. 
No, I'm, I'm oh, still you're, working. You're still on working? It. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to. You want me to get you <clears> another <throat> lozenge? Yeah, please. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Get the vitamin C one. <clears throat> All right. So getting some light pink hair with the magenta and white. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Um, I, I promise I'm, I'm feeling better. <laughs> I feel fine. I just don't sound that great. Um, <clears throat> losing my voice. And thankfully, not COVID. We, I got it checked because I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't, in, you know, going to infect the family or anything. So I got that checked early last week. And, Thankfully, the Walgreens has a nice drive-through. We can, except for the people behind me, were honking because it, it took them forever to <clears throat> get it set up. Thank you. No, it's like I'm sorry. I made an appointment. <laughs> I'm not leaving my spot. I waited, just like you did. <laughs> Got some people in their lunch breaks were not happy. Not happy with me. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get this brush because I, I see all these little cells here. I want to kind of replicate that. So I'm just going to kind of do like this. <coughs> oh, Puppers. Well, he's been sick too. Well, puppy's on antibiotics. We've been a sad pair this week. <laughs> He got, <clears throat> doctor thinks he got tick fever this fall. So he has been on antibiotics three times. He's been back every once a month for it, the same thing. So she's put him on an extra high dose and he's figured out that <clears throat> he's getting the medicine in his cheese. And he's like, no, I'm not going to have that anymore. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's figuring out the cheese treats are not her. Who smarted who? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> okay. So just kind of doing these flicking motions so that I'm. If you lift off, if you kind of do this brush stroke very lightly where you're kind of lifting off before you get to the end here you'll get a like a, this broken line that happens at the end of the brush stroke and that's what I'm trying to get on these just to and then I can go back in sorry about the lozenge but that's the only way I can talk <clears throat> um, and I can go back in with my darker color and kind of go in the opposite direction and put in some of the veins. I don't want to get too fussy with it though, you know, so I'm just trying to kind of get it, the idea of it, but not <clears throat> go too far down the realism track. I can, I can go there real, real easy. Mm -hmm. So I have to almost kind of pull back and keep myself from getting too much detail in there. <clears throat> Any of these parts that <clears throat> have this lighter color are going to kind of come up towards us. So I want to put this one in front of this one. I'm going to have to bring it out a little bit and lighten that color where they overlap. And I can darken the color underneath on this one. 
just a little bit too to kind of emphasize it even more. See that? So it's up to you. You decide where you put the highlights on these. We're making this up kind of, it's not a true representation of our photograph. At this point, we're kind of just playing with it and adding petals where we want. Let's go ahead and put one in here, right here that's kind of in between these two. <coughs> just a little bit over the top of that one. How are we doing for time here? Good? Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're doing great. Awesome. So is your sale on Etsy over? Yeah. Okay, so there's still some <clears throat> paintings on Etsy, but there's no longer the percent off or whatever. 15% off sale. Okay. That we had in Christmas time. Or, you know, for right. Black Friday. Um <clears throat> and they make Christ great Christmas ideas, so well, there's a link down below might, the video. I, I might do another discount for patrons, but I'm not planning on doing another big sale because it just it's a lot of work, and I don't I don't want to have to be and shipping already, a bunch of stuff right at Christmas time. And you're already not. behind because you're cold. So. Exactly, I'm way <laughs> behind on everything. Just everything else, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's a link down below this video now in most videos to the Etsy store you can go check it out mm -hmm. yeah yeah we've got a lot of fun paintings in there mm -hmm. and if there's one that you want that is not in there you can text me and see if I want to sell it <laughs> <laughs> some are not for sale, but most are. <clears throat> and some are already sold, so, you know, it just depends. So just kind of, I'm not being super careful here. You can see I'm just kind of, kind of messily kind of putting in my lines here. Get some more magenta. This is going to use a lot of magenta. I knew, I knew I wasn't putting out enough when I put this out. This kind of style does use up a lot more paint, so that is one thing to be aware of. Because <laughs> you're putting on thicker and <clears throat> just uses more. That's all there is to it. And really at any point that you're happy with it you can stop so it's really up to you it's not again that's one of the things that I really like about this style of painting is there's really not a <clears throat> you know with the realistic type painting you're like you know if it doesn't look realistic then you know you're not done but this kind of painting you can it's just up to your own interpretation so you do it until you like it but I would definitely say stop every now and then because sometimes you can get kind of tunnel vision when you're, or you know, you just get kind of stuck and you may work and rework an area over and over again trying to fix it when it doesn't really maybe need fixing. You just have it in your head that it's supposed to look a certain way and um, you can't get it, you know, quite to match up to your vision, but it's, but it looks fine. It's just not. You know, you know what I mean? Like you kind of are your own worst enemy sometimes. So just kind of every now and then take a break, stop, ask somebody maybe, you know, if you're getting close to the end and you're not really sure if you, if there's something missing, maybe ask somebody who, I have a Facebook group that 
I set up for that, you know, for people painting my paintings that need advice or just want to share what they've done from my tutorials. Um, and I'm sorry if you've tried to post something original and didn't get approved because <laughs> we just, we don't um, keep it just to stuff that, so people can find help, you know, when they're painting my tutorials. That's what that group's for, the Thankful Art Group. So there's a lot of people in there that are really nice. And the number one thing is be kind. So the, we've weeded out most of the <coughs> meanies at this point. <coughs> Every now and then one of them pops up and gets booted out of the group. <laughs> but for the most part, everybody in there is really sweet and um, really encouraging, you know. So that's the whole idea is just to kind of have a safe place because it can be kind of scary when you're sharing painting for the first time, you know, and sharing your artwork. Just a safe place to do it and get help. So that's what the whole point <laughs> started started out by saying stop every now and then and then you know if you get if you get to a point where you you feel like it needs maybe something else but you're not really sure what then that's a good point to like post it in that group you know and just be like I'm not really sure if there's anything else that needs you know ask for a critique if you don't ask for a critique then people will just cheer you on and be excited for you that you finished a painting and that's um good too. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't ever expect my beginners to start out painting perfect paintings, you know. It's not the point. The point is to learn. So you're not there to for perfection. We're not expecting that. Nobody, you know, expects the beginner learning how to ski for the first time never to fall or you know, somebody learning piano never to play the wrong note. So you're, you know, you're a beginner. Let, let yourself be a beginner if you're first learning. If you're a little bit farther along, then, you know, you may be able to <clears throat> benefit from, you know, some critique and kind of getting an idea of some of the places that you still need to improve. So, but at the same time, I think be kind to yourself is the main thing when, when you're learning any new skill, especially painting. I think people have this idea that you're supposed to start out being perfect at it, and if you don't, then you don't have any talent for it and you can't do it. And um, that's not true. You can, you can do it. It may take you a little bit longer than somebody who has inborn talent for it, but you still can do it if you work hard enough at it. If it's something you really want to do, there's no reason why you shouldn't learn to paint. Just like, got lots of people that post pictures that say they didn't think they could do it and they were really surprised by the results, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's my favorite kind of post is when I see that, you know, somebody really excited because they were able to do something they didn't think they could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've seen over the years, you know, people enter their art in, in local shows and, and win prizes and things. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, we're, we're, we are very encouraged to see people so proud oh, absolutely. of what they've done and what they didn't think they could do. And so mm -hmm. it is it is an honor to be part of that whole art journey and growing experience yep. with them. Yep, for sure. I mean, for you, sure. Add, you add something to it too, but, you know, you know, they if it wasn't for me, they'd still be you know, I know. lost. So. Yeah, yeah. They're like, thank you, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're welcome. <laughs> I do it for the people. <laughs> <laughs> do what exactly? Hmm. Well, you know, I, I painted row houses. <sighs> Or swans that we did. Swans, yeah. I thought the swans would be more popular. 
honestly, I think the swans pic picture that Mark and I did as a couple is one of the better ones because you get to see his his n the natural problems that beginners have when they're learning to paint and I'm helping him through it, you know, working through it with him, you know. It's not the best painting for me because I was stopping to help him most of the time. <laughs> but <laughs> as we planned it, you know, I was pretending to not be able to paint very well. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oops, I need to do this lap. One back here. I, I mean, really you know, attention. one of us have painted with her feet. The other one hasn't. You painted with your feet? Mm hmm. When? The row houses, remember? I didn't. I don't remember that. You've blocked that out of your memory. <laughs> I have. Like, that did not happen. That was a fun show because we traded places. Yeah. So I Angela struggled running the board and the cameras mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and I struggled to talk while painting. Yeah. And so we we happily went back to our seats after that show and yeah. said, yep, yeah, no, that's okay. I have to keep my job. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, yeah. It took about a week for me to get back to complaining about what you're doing. <laughs> totally forget that I was like, I'll never complain again right. about how hard your job is. <laughs> about you not keeping me on camera. I'm off camera again. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we are almost there. I'm just kind of playing now with the... with the parts that are sticking out and making sure that some of these that are supposed to be in front of the other ones are getting a little bit more light. Okay, let's go ahead and do some <coughs> do some of the yellow in the center of some of these flowers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of the cadmium yellow and some of the yellow, Indian yellow, and some white here. And go on the top of these greens and just add a little pop of yellow. some of that just a little bit on these and get a little bit of the white a little bit of yellow Oh, 
that one. I feel like that one. I don't know. I want it to be a little bit brighter right there. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. That glazing medium will kind of help it go on a little smoother. just need I think what I need is a darker burgundy there I think that's what I'm missing it's just like a darker get a little bit of black in my magenta there get all that <clears throat> light color out of it my magenta a little bit of that black Really dark. I'm gonna get some red too. It's a really dark red, so that's just a shade or two darker than my magenta there. I'm just coming from the center out. Making some of the centers of these darker. Just needs a little bit more contrast. I think that was what I'm lacking in this one. It's just not. Not enough contrast. Okay, there we go. Gives a little bit darker, deeper tones in the veins there coming out. See how that's different? It's just kind of pushing that, pulling that into towards the center a little bit more, giving a little bit more dimension right there where it's kind of going down into the flower. <clears throat> out, figure out which one's in front. I think this one's in front. Let's get this a little bit darker. Behind it here. I think I'm going to use that Back right here. Okay, just making small edits here, sorry. Almost done. Alright, I 
and I'll stop there. <clears throat> I might make that a little bit darker, but just right here. Okay. Sign it. Mm -hmm. Super chat. What? A Christmas super chat. The bells are ringing, right? Super chat. Super chat. Nice. Okay, do we get the lights to drop? Mm -hmm. All righty. Tonight's super chat was from, uh, oh, don't tell me, it was from Patty. It says, I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, thank this you. This is lovely. Thank you for sharing oh. your journey with us. Thank you, Patty. <clears throat> that was back when you were talking about, you know, how you paint and you're still on your journey too, so. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yes, thank you, Patty. Get to see all of the good, good, bad, and ugly, and everything in between. <laughs> Hopefully, improving. <laughs> it's the goal, right? <laughs> I think it's just a little bit more to do here. You could probably sprinkle this too, like splatter, if you wanted to. Um, I don't think I'm going to this time, but I think it would look cool. Use some white. Short handled, short brush, I mean. Short bristled brush, thin, thin round. This one is not holding together very well for me. There we go. There we go. Okay. <coughs> what? We got another super chat just came nice. in. Uh, nice. This one's from Silly Sally. Oh. says, thank you both. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Silly oh. Sally. Very sweet. I get to ring the bells twice. Yeah, that made Mark today. <laughs> All right. I had so, to find those for him. Okay, watch party. What? Oh. Watch party for Oak Island. <laughs> just without the Darling. real time chatting. You just, you watch in your house, I'll watch in mine. <laughs> I don't think that's what a watch party is, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, I don't think that's the same thing. <laughs> I'm wearing my watch. That's just a watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This this is really fun. I hope you try it. It's really, really enjoyable doing these kind of paintings. Very relaxing. It was a good one to come back from the cold <laughs> to do. <laughs> Uh, a lot of fun so hope you guys try it hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and like subscribe if you haven't already and we'll be back on saturday fingers crossed and we've also got a bonus video this weekend so i better feel Ooh, a yeah. thousand times better so you get your weekend. challenge image on thursday for your ten dollar patrons yes we're going to be finished well not finishing we're going to be doing some birds on this one here we're working on this we worked on it all november and we're going to add some birds here here and here and then maybe some other greenery and things to it as well we've got a few little finishing touches so that's one of the challenge images that we work on all month long in that ten dollar level on patreon and then um we'll do the five dollar bonus video for the dollar people five dollars and up so the, t the ten dollar people get both <laughs> they're and special <laughs> and saturday we're painting a reindeer yes i am looking forward to that i'm going to be um paint, 
painting it very similar to this, painting it very kind of like loosely styled. And uh, we're going to be adding some lights to them. So it'll be really fun. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Join us for that. And um, if you want to see the other in um, other videos coming up, you can click on my name or photo and it'll take you to my channel homepage. And it's also got links down in the description to uh, where you can buy the materials and things for um, that we've used today. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.